it'll really be interesting, I think, if if Prain prevails and if he gets a ruling um, as unlikely as that may be in Dane County that he can stay on the board, what does that mean for all the other appointees out there um, who traditionally when their term is up, whether their successor has been confirmed or not, they, they step down. A lot of them run away. I mean, they're more than, <laughs> more, more than happy to be done with, with their terms. Um, so I'm, in, I'm intrigued on that end. And, and the other part that makes this interesting is it feels like an insider fight in a lot of ways. I mean, this guy that most people haven't heard of and everything. But you have the whole element of the, um, the environmentalist conservationists who won him off the board. He was a Walker appointee. And the DNR board's taking up a lot of high-profile issues, the wolf hunt uh, most recently being among those. And so I think it'll be... It's interesting from that angle where you do have a little bit broader recognition of who this guy is and why it's important as opposed to maybe, say, somebody on the barber licensing board or something like that. I mean, 20 years ago when uh, Jim Doyle won office, there were a whole host of appointees that uh, Governors McCallum and Thompson made to boards that never got a hearing or a confirmation in the Senate and Doyle sent those right away. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's quite parallel, though, because... Dr. Prain got a full six years on the board. He was con- her, had a confirmation hearing, was confirmed, got his full six years. A little bit different. The precedent has been, though, he can continue serving. What I'm curious is, what's the end game? So I think from the list I got from the governor's office, there are 150 roughly appointees that haven't been confirmed yet. Okay. So Republicans feel fairly confident about 2022 because things in D.C. aren't very great right now for Democrats. We know traditionally the party in the White House struggles in midterm. They feel good about November of 2022. What if Governor Evers wins re-election? Then what? Do we have this go on indefinitely? And also, don't forget that uh, Prane remaining means a 4-3 board in favor of Walker appointee. So your point about the environmental stuff, we're talking the Wolf Hunt, PFAS regulations, mm-hmm. uh, CAFOs, on down the line, all these contentious issues with the DNR board. It's Walker appointees running the show and a Walker appointee dictating the agenda. Rewind. Your Week in Review is sponsored by... The Wisconsin Realtors Association, bringing Wisconsin communities to life with great homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The Wisconsin Realtors Association, the voice of real estate. 